Hello everyone, welcome to part two of this replay. As all of, for some reason, some of my, um, yeah, little icons decided to jump off the page. Hopefully you guys didn't see how much time was left in this replay. I rarely want to know how much time is left on a replay either. And we do have the amulet upgrades currently being researched. So those high templars will be able to be warped in with enough energy for a Psy storm. Out come some marauders and a medevac as well. So how is this going to work? Will this army be able to hold it back? Unit combination, we have 18 marauders and and one meta back with seven vikings so those vikings are now being massed to try to deal with that carrier army or this carrier these two carriers here stalker is now going to be, be doing an engagement as these and oh nice side storm trying to intercept any of those units trying to coming on in and stalker is now just going to be moving over here but vikings now in positions fighting with that range of nine now going to be able to deal serious serious damage getting some side storms underneath those vikings because that's where you need to position them one carrier now shot down another side Storm hitting this Marauder army here, but is it going to be enough? Not enough energy for any additional side storms, and this army will be destroyed. So Tarson, however, losing a lot of his SCV harvesters over here. Unit combination, um, 50 SCVs compared to 55, and Tarson still now knows about this expansion down here on the bottom left. Has a good number. We do see a sock with the two High Templars here. We'll be able to get enough energy in just a moment, and this Nexus over here as well. In comes this Marauder Army. Marauder Army does not have that many hit points. And will these side storms be able to come off in time? Able to take down one of those buildings. One gateway quickly shot and torn apart. I believe, oh, the pylon was torn apart. So now this robotics facility needs just, what, another three units of time or five units of time to finish off that immortal. But that immortal, it still needs that pylon. So that immortal will be delayed for quite some time. Back over here, we now have a high Templar. Will it be able to get off a side storm? No, yes, get off of that side storm and takes down two or three marauders. And now in comes another carrier. But that carrier will get destroyed by Vikings here. Too many Vikings to deal with in this engagement. Three Vikings. Zealots now trying to charge on, charge in against this Marauders. More Psy Storm coming in, trying to separate this whole entire army. And now Stalker is getting pinned off over here. A 2700 Mineral Army versus a 900. Both sides taking heavy losses. But Tarsen with this Marauder army dealing a lot of damage. Going to be able to take down this Assimilator. For, this Assimilator was not canceled. One Viking in the air. And wow, what a what a crazy game so far. We do have the level 2 weapons upgrade, the level 2 armor, or level 1 armor upgrade, sorry. Level 1 attack, level 1 armor armor upgrades, and now SCVs coming off the mineral line to repair these Vikings. Army-wise and unit combination-wise, I do not know how Sok is going to be able to counter this Marauder army. Needs to get Colossus, but there's already Vikings has high templar those high templar need to be able with, with perhaps some force field to try to intercept any of these units here and now these zealots going to be pushing through a lot of these uh, scvs trying to hide up against that side and now more size storm coming in and a lot of units getting destroyed there so left and right units getting taken down and vikings now just getting torn apart as there are no air units those vikings are not trying to come into the ground mode as these high templar are now pushing through and getting a lot of kills off this command center now and taking and uh, suffering a decent amount of damage and as these uh, marauders now coming through high templars are not there to support their zealots and that was a really big mistake by sock sock not getting that side storm in Marauders now splitting up left and right in order to dodge that size from that was down the middle. And now Marauders did some sort of drop here. Vikings now pushing back, able to do a lot of damage as well. Over here, we now have another army coming in from Sock. So Sock trying to push back. And this one Viking, uh, the one, the one carrier able to take down that last Viking. Two Marauders are all that are left. No additional weapons upgrade, I believe. Yeah, just level one weapon upgrade. As these Marauders coming in and size storm hitting all of these units over here. So constantly trying to avoid all of this size storm. But size storm going left and right. And Tarson losing so much. And Tarson saying, GG, well played. Wow, beautifully played by Sock. Um... I, I cannot imagine that I cannot imagine that that size storm was absolutely critical. I don't know how many High Templars that he brought in throughout that fight, but getting that amulet, being able to get six High Templars together, and then using the mobility of the Marauders against them as they constantly retreated into more and more Psy Storms. So yeah, that smart casting, absolutely beautiful. Immortals also doing a great job. Sock, and also defending against a drop that w that also came through, or a, a walk-in that, um, that was coming through over of Marauders. He did lose some of these productions, and 
tremendous robotics facility, but it still didn't matter that much. Really, really great play by Sock against Tarson. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this replay.